bit of practice and you'll be sweet. That's looking good, guys. But actually, I think there's some more in the wardrobe in the spare room. Yeah? Cool. Chelsea's gonna die if Jack doesn't ask her to the ball. Yeah, he definitely won't. And then she'll go into this big sock and he'll tell her to get lost. <laughs> she'll be gutted. I know. Hey, Tash. Hmm? Can you come here for a minute? Look, about that necklace. Oh, not again. No, I just want to apologise for yesterday. I mean, of course it's cool that you wear it. I was just worried about the cap, that's all. Oh, like people might think you're thieves or something. Yeah. I don't think of that. I'm probably just being paranoid. Don't worry about it, eh? Okay. One, two, three. Mari te po, tafu te po. Cheers, dears. Cheers. Cheers. I'll just go and get the bread. Oh. So good of you to come. Happy to. But um, not quite the thing to say since we're here to remember Anne. And Jeff. But we're not going to be all gloomy. Try not to be anyway. What's well, cooking? Smells good. Bacon lasagna. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get that from? Some deli. Perhaps been slaving away over a hot stove all day. Oh, yeah, dodging flying pigs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you big tease. It's a lovely thing that Barb's done for me and Delphi. And Anne, of course. And Jeff. Yes, but I was thinking about Anne because of Judy. Now you'd take that slowly. You must have seen a side of Anne that I never did at work. She was a very good nurse. She'd have been lovely with the patients. She was. Very caring. Very warm. Wave, stop. I can't. I've heard that if you keep moving and stay on your feet, it brings the baby on sooner. Sounds like a bunch of old wives, Tosh. No, not an old wife. Avril's cousin. Oh, Westy Tosh. <laughs> Wave, put your feet up now. Table four needs water. Oh, and if this doesn't work, then I'm going to need you later. Neither of you guys got a tranquilizer gun? Where were we? Um, um, the file is upstairs. B2 ticks. Nick's usually a bit more on the ball. Oh, well, it's a big thing, becoming a parent. How's it for you? Ah, oh, well, uh, knocked me right off centre stage, which is no bad thing. Yeah. It's great, yeah. So I hear. Mostly. I haven't given up hope yet. Of having kids? You had me pegged as a career woman. Well, excuse me, but I want it all. Nothing to stop you. Uh, just a small problem of choosing a father. I'm a tad picky. Uh, nothing but the best will do, huh? Well, as close as I can get. Mm. So tasty, Bob. I can see now why it took so long to cook. Really, very, very tasty. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. Mm, you must give me the recipe for the next potluck in Cambridge. Mm, sure. And me too, please, Bob. You'd be eating it for a week. Who's for top-up? Me. Oh, you shouldn't really. But I suppose a small one can't hurt, because I would like to propose a toast, if I may. Of course. Judy? Uh, just a small one for me, too, thanks. Over to you. Thanks so much for being here. To remember Anne and Jeff. They are dearly loved and sadly missed. To Jeff and Anne. No, hold on, Beth, I haven't finished. Mary, could he make there? Well, Valentine happened to mention that he bought a present, so I thought I'd better do the same. Oh, cool. Really nice idea. Damn fool idea. No offence, but so's the rest of it. I don't know. Our last real Christmas wasn't that great, was it? So, I was thinking we could try and make this one a whole lot more cheerful. Maybe? Alright, take the ticket, though. <laughs> it's 
It's a terrible thing when children die before their parents. Especially when they're as young as Anne was. She was so talented. So loving. She gave so much. She was always thinking of others. Even at the end, she... She could have saved herself, but no, she put that other young woman first. My only comfort now is that she's in a better place. I'm sorry. Why did you stop? Or don't you hope that Jeff is in a better place too? Uh, of course I... But he won't be. Because Jeff wasn't a saint like Anne, no. He was bad, so to hell with him. He was never good enough for you, was he? Just like I'm not good enough, it was always Anne. That's all this dinner was ever about. That is not true. It is. You don't care about me. It was all Anne, Anne, Anne. Well, I wish I had died instead of her because then I wouldn't have to put up with you as a mother anymore. You make me sick. No. <laughs> And there's more medical drama with the staff of Shorten Street on Monday morning at half past eleven.